Good afternoon, my name is Teddy Gibson. I am here from the Maryland area, here to perform at Stevenson High School on this wonderful instrument that has been installed by a local chapter of the American Theater Organ Society, of which I am the vice chairman of the board. They are a society that sole purpose is to continue to make sure these instruments are heard and played uh, for audiences of all ages. And I'm very excited to be able to perform uh, here today. This is a theater organ and the whole purpose of the theater organ, its whole design was to replicate the orchestra and so you see the different colored stop tabs which help the organist uh, group some of those sounds into different instruments, strings and flutes and trumpets and horns and that sort of thing are replicated on this instrument. And this one is built by the Page Company out of Ohio and it's very exciting that they did not make that many, but this is one of their top instruments. I'd say this instrument is from the 20s, 1920s, so it's coming close to almost 100 years old. So I got started in the theater organ by actually going to restaurants. We used to have restaurants where I'm from in Washington State that had these instruments in them, and they would play for the patrons, and they were called Pizza and Pipes. And so you had pizza and you listened to somebody play some of the top music. And so as a child growing up, I got to hear these type of instruments and eventually I was able to play and learn how to play them. So I originally started, of course, on the piano and then went to the classical organ and then came over to the theater organ. So all those different styles help in playing this instrument. So you've got four different keyboards here and each one has a group of stops, which is what these are called, that are assigned to it and you can pick and choose which ones you want for that keyboard. So instead of like a piano which only has one sound, I have multiple combinations of sound that I'm able to create with this instrument. So if you think of the days when you would go to a rock concert, gospel concert, jazz concert, and you see a keyboard is with multiple keyboards, each one of those keyboards has its own sounds. All this thing does, which is the console, is put all those keyboards together in one location. So my program is really gonna expand on the gambit of music that's out there. So dealing with the styles of music that can be played on it, the thing with the theater organ is it's not limited in the style because the organ can play this the theater organ versus the church organ can play pretty much anything church organs were designed for a specific purpose but theater organs were designed originally to accompany silent films so you had to have all of the orchestral accompaniments to do a silent film you don't have that in a church organ and so with that even though this is say 20s musical technology that transcends the time of the 20s because with these, these instruments, you can play anything that you want to on them. So a lot of people think this here is the organ. This is the console. The pipes are actually all the way in the back of the room. So when you see this, think of this like a computer. If I want to put something into a computer, I need a computer keyboard. But the thing that does the work is the CPU or the processor, and then that does what you essentially tell it to do. So the CPU does the processing. This is just my data input that goes to a relay, which then farms it out to the different pipes, of which there are roughly 2,000 pipes in this instrument. And then it makes it work as I play it. If you want to compare this to the synthesizer, this is the original synthesizer. Um, I'm able to combine different groups of sounds to create sounds that weren't around. What does the Moog do? It allows you to do the same thing. What do Rollins and Kurzweil's and Kawai's and Korg's do and Nord's? It's all the same thing. I'm synthesizing sound. This is a giant acoustic synthesizer. 